Willie McCovey's name might be attached to the body of water behind the fences at Oracle Park, but the one guy who truly owns the cove is a guy named Dave. And this is headed to the water. It was the splash hit of the summer. Fireworks between Madison Bumgarner and Max Muncy, with Muncy getting the last word. And I just responded back, uh, you know, if you, want, if you don't want me to watch the ball, you can go get it out of the ocean. Bumgarner didn't pull the ball out of the drink, but Dave Edlin, on the other hand, couldn't wait. I actually have 26 splash hits and 13 bouncing. And those are just from games. Edlin has countless more from batting practice. It's an accumulation from nearly 500 games in his kayak. Barry Bonds, he played 495 games for the Giants, including playoffs, and he got 38 home runs. So I actually have one more McCovey Cove home run than Barry Bonds. For a night game, McCovey Cove Dave arrives at a boat launch around 4 p.m. and piles all the essentials into the boat. Time to rock and roll. And paddles off for his 20 minute commute to the coast. I'm heading out towards Oakland. I'm gonna pass these two big ships. My dad always believed for times that you're having fun in life, like when you're fishing or maybe going to McCovey Cove, those are bonus days in your life. They're extra. So I'm trying to get as many extra days as I can. Edlund has turned his passion for the water and for the Giants into a full-time job. It's a much different life than the one he had two decades ago. I left after 20 years in high tech and originally was going to be a one-year chase all your dreams. So this was one of my dreams. When I left HB, I read off 10 things to my fellow workers. And one of the things I told them is that I'm going to catch him a Kevin Cove home run this year. He unbelievably retired when he was 45 and plays the investment game when he's not chasing floating baseballs. Each one of the home runs are charted meticulously on a spreadsheet. I kind of feel like me and the rest of the kayaks are kind of part of the game. And maybe we're just retrievers, maybe we're dog retrievers, but for us, we feel like we've got a special souvenir and those balls are really rare and uh, we get, we become like little kids. And there's a reason why Edlin has the most. He positions himself in the cove like players position themselves around the diamond, all of it based on statistics. I look at every home run a player has hit, and I draw what is called a scattergram. Um, and by looking at that, you can see concentrations. The guy has thought of everything, even pre-made signs for the cameras in the event he catches a milestone home run or wants to say hello to his mom. His preparation is second to none, but four hours on a kayak can lead to the occasional mishap. As I was taking the picture, my paddle blew up, hit my smartphone into the cove, and it went right down. And I had a $99 insurance policy, but you have to return the phone. So next day I came back, I found it. My $99, I got a new Apple 8 Plus. At this point, he's a ballpark fixture, like the Willie Mae statue and the garlic fries. But he has no plans to quit. The rush of netting a baseball keeps him afloat. As we feel it's kind of like our fountain of youth for us old guys. So Dave right now is vacationing in Europe with his family. He's missed two splash shots. One tonight. Uh, by the giant second baseman uh, Scooter Jeanette, and one on Friday by Stephen Vote. That ball actually sank to the bottom. Dave says he's gonna dive down and get it. We're back uh, with game day on location in just a moment.